Have you ever heard the saying, many hands make light work? How about teamwork makes the dream work? Essentially, these popular sayings mean that when people join for a purpose, more gets done as they're stronger together. The same can be true for switches in a stack when they create a link aggregation group, or lag. A lag bundles individual links together, combining them into one link between two devices. This isn't done physically, so you don't see it, but the links will act as a single connection. When links are joined logically, there is increased bandwidth. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll give an overview of stacked link aggregation groups, lags, on Cisco business switches. Higher bandwidth is the biggest benefit of a lag because a larger volume of data can be sent over the connection. A high data transfer rate leads to quicker download times, allows multiple sites to be active simultaneously, and supports multiple users. When two units are connected to one another, a stack lag is automatically assigned to the stack ports linking them. Per unit, there can be up to two stack legs. A stack leg can be composed of as little as two or as many as the maximum number of stack ports, depending on the unit type. Link Aggregation Control Protocol, LACP, determines which candidate ports are active member ports. The non-active candidate ports are on standby, ready to replace any failing active member ports. Some of the possible states for stack ports are down. This means the port operational status is down or that the stack port operational status is up, but traffic cannot pass on the port. Active. This means the stack port was added to a stack leg whose port operational status is up and traffic can pass on the port. It also means it is a member of a stack leg. Standby. This means the stack port operational status is up and bidirectional traffic can pass on the port, but the port cannot be added to a stack leg and the port does not transmit traffic. A possible reason for a port being on standby is if the stack ports with different speeds are used to connect a single neighbor. This brings me to some physical constraints for stack legs that you should keep in mind. A stack leg must have ports that are at all the same speed. Only two stack legs can be active. The remaining stack ports are in standby mode, inactive, when connecting a unit to a stack whose topology is not a ring or chain. For example, when connecting a unit to more than two neighboring units in a star topology. The last area to review is the auto selection of port speed in stacking. When the cable is connected to a port, the type of stacking cable is automatically discovered by default. The system automatically identifies the stack cable type and selects the highest speed supported by the cable and the port. When the cable type is not recognized, a syslog message is displayed at the informational level. There you have it, the basics of legs working together for a more efficient network. If you would like to see how stacking works on Cisco Business Series 350-4X switches, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.